Good afternoon, you guys. Hi. I'm back. We're going to be talking about a woman's presence is help to a man, not her money. Okay. So we're going to be talking about that. I'm going to wait for a few of y'all to get in. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. There's enough people now. Um, the type of woman a man chooses to be with, to marry, to represent him, to date, whatever, is a reflection of himself and his status. Thank you, Anonymous X. Love you too. So when a man chooses a woman based on his self, his own reality, that woman is going to represent him. Okay. And he's not going to want to be represented as needy or poor. So the type of woman that he's going to choose is not going to reflect that either. Um, of course, with his help. But if a man chooses a woman that is trying to help him or he requires her to help him financially, she's not going to be the same type of woman as the first type of woman I spoke about. She's going to look very different, has a totally different set of thinking, and probably not going to be as feminine. Okay. Um, so different types of men choose different types of women according to their status in life. Okay. So if your status in life is that of need, you're going to choose a woman that can give you the financial support that you need. And then if you are financially good as a man, you're going to find a woman that will reflect your financial status. That's a difference. So the, the first type of man who chooses a woman to reflect his financial status probably took the time to get paid before he chose the type of woman that he wanted. So instead of chasing, you know, any and every woman while he was, you know, trying to get to where he's at now financially, he probably focused on his career, his money, his goals, his financial goals, you know, stacked his paper, made some investments. And then when he was good financially, then he went to go get the type of woman that he wanted. And then he can, um, you know, give her all these things that, you know, a woman wants or enjoys so that everyone's happy. So, you know, the other type of man is the type of man that wants the woman to help him get to the financial status that he would like to be at without doing half the work that the other man did. So you'll usually see uh, someone try to get a woman who has a career or some type of job and they will say, well, let's build together. And, you know, of course that man is a man and, you know, he wants his financial security. All men want financial security first and foremost. He will use that woman to get him to the financial security and financial stability that he would like to be in without doing the work alone. So he's going to have help. And this is what I mean by help. You will be the help. And once he gets to that certain level of financial security where he does not need help anymore, he can drop his help and then become like man number one and go choose the type of woman he wants. So just so you understand, a man does not need help. Okay. If you choose to give him that help, that is your decision and your fault 
when he drops the help that he no longer needs. A woman is not supposed to be helping a man reach his financial status um, as a man. Okay, she's there to compliment him, be the feminine to his masculine, to take what he has and multiply it, to take what he has and build a house, home with it while he uh, brings in the money. She decorates, you know, she makes the home a home. Make sure, sure the kids are taken care of. Make sure things are you know, kept up, make sure the house is nice, make sure you have something nice to come home and look at after working all day or running your business all day. You don't have to come home to Barnetta. If you do decide to go out or go on a cruise or, you know, go hang out, you know, have a drink, take someone to dinner, at least you have somebody that looks good on your arm because at the end of the day, you work hard. So you deserve it. Okay. Um, <laughs> right? Most men think this way when they get financially stable. Most men who are not financially stable do not think this way. They think, how do I get financially stable? Oh, I need to build. Well, I need help building. I don't want to build by myself because it's going to take me longer to get there. So let me get this woman over here who's Bob the Builder and have her help me build. So then when I'm good, I can go get the type of woman I truly want. So just understand that. It doesn't mean that they won't marry you. It doesn't mean that they're not going to be around for a couple years. It doesn't mean you're not going to have kids. It means when they are at that financial level where they can go and choose the type of woman they want, they may just go and do that because you may not be her. You might have been the type of woman they wanted to build with, not the type of woman they want. There is a difference. Okay. So understand that when the words build come out of a man's mouth, you're not his type. He don't want you. You are the temporary woman that he is going to try to use to get to the type of woman he truly wants. Just know that. Okay. Just know that no matter what they say, they may not know it at this given moment in time, but as that money stacks up in that bank because they're not paying every bill, as they get to relax and rest and not hustle and work as hard because you're doing that, they're going to stay youthful looking, vibrant, young, stack their paper. And while you're getting haggard, you know, less youthful looking, things start to look a little bit different. OK, it doesn't mean that they don't love you. It just means their nature as a man is going to kick in. Okay. So my best suggestion is never, ever build with a man unless you are an architect and that is your business partner and you're going to get that paycheck. You're going to get that contract deal, but you are not married and you are not sleeping with that man. Okay. Never build with a man ever if you have any type of self-esteem if you're already building with a man slowly start pulling out stop paying this stop paying that fake lose your job take some vacation days pretend like you lost your job and see if he's gonna kick in and do his manly duty if not you know who you are the bob the builder chick okay some men base their relationship only if you are able to pay some money and provide. If you, if you can't provide, they don't want you. You kick to the curb quickly. That means you're not their type. They wouldn't do anything for you. You're not the love of their life. You're just their um, Bob the Builder who's going to get them to the type of woman that they truly want. So just take a realistic look at yourself. Don't overreact emotionally if this is you. Start making your plan. Don't overreact. Don't even say nothing. Start executing your plan to get out of it, to start paying anything and see, see if he's going to kick in. Have your little savings, whatever, so that if he decides he doesn't want to be with you because you're not going to help him be a man, then you need to go ahead and leave and be a full woman by yourself and let him learn how to finish being a man. OK, so. I don't care what any dusty man says. 
any dude who asks you to build is not fully mature enough to even have a woman. Okay? So, stop accepting it. And it will stop being asked of you in general. Stop expecting it or accepting it. And it will stop being asked. You see, in the last five years that I've been on YouTube, how things have changed. And I'm not saying it's all me because it takes a bunch of people to, to change things. So it's me telling y'all, y'all telling other people, those people telling them people, them people telling those people until it comes full circle. Okay. So if you want men to change, your standards have to change. We lead the way as far as how we are treated. Okay. How we are valued. We determine our value. Men do not determine our value. We determine our value when we set our standards. So if your standards, if you have none, you better get some or you have no value. You better make some up that sound good. Thank you, Anonymous X. I appreciate that donation. So they will start to understand. They may complain. They may get mad and argue back and forth. But at the end of the day, what, what's going to happen? They're going to come around and do what you need them to do. If enough women, exactly enough women, um, have the same set of standards, then this becomes the status quo. Okay? So... If all women, most women, a lot of women, at least half the women have high standards, then at least half the women are going to get the type of men that are going to be financially stable and able to provide and protect and take care of their families. Okay. So just set the standards. Don't budge. Don't overreact emotionally. Don't go by looks. You know, go by your standards and the type of life you want and the type of man you want. That's all you got to do. It's very easy. Thank you, Joe, Joni and Nisi for the donation. Okay. So, so can you retry with the guy? I don't, I don't go backwards, baby. Um, unless it's been a while and they, you know, it's, it's like almost like a new start. But I, I would keep it moving forward because they know all your games, all your tricks. They know your personality. You can't fool them. It's too hard. You can't run game on somebody that knows you already. You know, it's going to be a little bit harder. Mm hmm. Tips on what to do when you meet his family. Be yourself. Um, be mannerable. But, you know, just make sure you stay genuine to yourself because that they are. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, all you got to do is show up. That is your job. Show up when that man gives you a castle, makes you his queen, then you do what queens do. You know, decorate the castle. Make sure the prince and the princesses are taken care of. You know, make sure everything looks nice. When he comes home after a long day of ruling the world, you give him, how was today, dear? Da, da, da. You don't look ratchet like the maids. You look like the queen. Okay? So stay looking cute all the time. Don't backtrack. You know, if a man invests in his career, waits, and is patient to, to um, get the type of woman he wants, he want to keep her looking like she looks. So don't go backwards and stop taking care of yourself. Maintain it you know, and give them a reason to want to get up and go to work in the morning. Give them a reason to feel like, you know, um, doing all this hard work is actually worth it. Represent, you know, um, look like somebody he wants to show off and take in public because, you know, you're like the, the sports car that he tries to drive. But when you go inside, they can't see his car. They can only see you. You are a reflection of his value, his worth, his financial status, his self-esteem, his ability to um, conquer and um, his career and make sure that he's able to provide for a woman and their children. 
he is like seen, respected highly, you know, instead of, you know, going out with someone and the man looks better than the woman, you ought to always automatically think she paying his bills. He probably staying at home on the couch. He's broke. Why are they together? You know, you don't want those questions when you walk out. You don't want him walking five steps in front or behind you because you're not pretty. Okay. You want the exact opposite. Thank you, um, Strawberry One. So a lot of a lot of women complain, well, my husband don't take me out anymore. He doesn't want to do anything with me anymore because you're not representing him properly. Okay. So, right. You're not representing him properly, so you're not going to get taken out. Or he can't afford to take you out because he's not financially stable enough to take you out. Okay. Um, if you want to go out. Some women are just fine doing... Um, things at home, going, you know, with their friends or taking their kids places and doing stuff like that on the weekend. They don't really need all the extra attention, uh, especially if they've been together for a while, like me and my husband. But in a new marriage or a new relationship, those things need to be able to get done, you know. So don't change your standards. Okay. You hate that he wants me, can't provide for me. And my daughter, I really do love him. The facts. Okay. Well, love ain't got nothing to do with it, baby. Okay. If he loved you, he would take care of you. How about that? So you love him, but he don't love you. Okay. Let me ask you a question. You love your daughter, right? Wouldn't you find a way to take care of her if you because you love her? The answer is yes. So he don't love you. First, they have to love themselves first, which means they have to put themselves first, which means putting themselves in a position that they want to actually be in in life, which is probably a good financial position. They got to get themselves together first. Then they're going to go get the woman that they truly want, not the one that they settle for, not the one that can help them get to the next level, not the one that they can help him build, but they're going to get the one that they want because they put themselves first. They, they sacrificed. They took the time to build themselves up and then now they can go get what they want. It's just like leveling up. It's just like leveling up for a man. You, if you take your time and get ready every morning, look good, you know, um, work out, do your hair, nails, makeup, you know, Make sure you're presentable every time you leave the house, extra feminine. It's going to pay off. You're going to get the type of man that Pikmisha and Bonetta could never get. It's the same thing. You took the time. You put in the effort. You deserve what you are trying to go and get. Okay? So just think of it like that. Love has nothing to do with it. It is self-love. If you love yourself, you can then love other people. You cannot love other people if you don't love yourself. A man don't love himself if he got to ask a woman um, to help him. A man don't love himself if he allows his wife to go out and work while she's super pregnant. He don't love himself or her or the baby in her stomach. OK, so you got to love yourself first. You got to understand your role in this world. A man's role in this world is to provide. A man's role in this world is not to go out looking cute. Wearing the latest clothes. That's a woman's role, baby. Okay. A man's role in this world is not to be seen and chased. That's the woman's role. Okay. A man's role is to be strong, to have everything that you need and seek so that you can go to him because he offers things that you cannot do on your own. Okay. So the next time I see someone that says, I don't want to be a slave in marriage. I don't want to do that. Okay. Well then be a single woman. Have a good day. Okay. Um, it doesn't bother me that a lot of men act like ladies these days. It doesn't bother me at all because I would rather weed them out for you guys. I let you see the difference 
I would rather them be like that so you can automatically weed them out and not waste your time anymore. It is a good thing because you're weeding them out. Um, and when you weed them out, you no longer paying attention to them. They start to no longer even exist on your radar. So when they're no longer existing on your radar, because you're not hanging around the places that they hang out and you're now hanging around the places where men who uh, you know care about themselves and their status and their ability to provide hang out, that's where you're going to be meeting people anyway. So you kind of phase them out of your life slowly by raising your standards. You don't even have to deal with them anymore, except probably online. When they pop up in places um, that they think we're talking about them at. <laughs> so, but that's probably going to be about it. The next time, you know, um, a man decides to ask a woman these silly questions, you know, if it's you, maybe you need to remind them, isn't that what women do? <laughs> Always refer back to your dad. Even if you ain't got a dad, make one up in your head. Well, my dad said that a man's supposed to provide for a woman and not to ever bring a man home that can't do better than he can do. My mom never worked a day in her life. He will dismiss himself and you won't even have to do anything. OK, so he will not try to convince you because he afraid of that daddy, even if the daddy don't exist. You don't know that. OK, so he's not even bother giving you his little story about how it takes two incomes to make it and um, we got to build together and what about love? He ain't going to talk to you. Any, he ain't going to waste his little precious words on you. He's going to go straight to pick Misha and give her that line. But you, he will not waste it on because it's not going to work for you. Okay, Your standards are too high. They come from your family and they're not going anywhere soon and your parents still hold you to those standards that they gave you. So just bring some fake family into it and leave it at that. Either they'll get to stepping or they'll understand and meet the challenge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, a man will tell you he's all that for one month and get you to sleep with him. Maybe pay a few bills. He's an Uber driver. No, that's why you need to have them heavily investing in you. So you understand they can take care of you. That's why women want a man to invest in them while dating. Can you provide for me? You know, if I should marry you, are you going to be able to handle having a woman like me? Are you going to be able to provide me with those nice things that I enjoy and that I like and that I require? Are you going to be able to keep up with my lifestyle that I currently have for myself? Are you going to be able to keep up with that so that I can take myself off the market and no longer be available for any other man to date? Are you going to compensate me for what I could be giving up? That is why women need you to invest in them, okay? Because Women are more, um, women have a lot of options. So in order to be exclusive, you need to be able to exclusively take care of her. Um, when women give themselves away cheap or free, it means that they have zero value or very low value and that they've taken themselves off the market sometimes without you even asking them to. <laughs> OK, that's how, you know, they're low value. It's like, you know, when you go on the website and it says free, just pay shipping. That's what it's like. Like, dang, it's free. I might as well take it. I just got to pay a dollar for shipping, two dollars for shipping. OK. And then it, it's just junk and it falls apart after a couple of weeks anyway. And then you don't even remember why you bought it. And it just ends up in the garbage. Why? Because it had no value in the first place and it was free. So just think about it like that. Ladies, stop giving yourselves away for free. It doesn't mean prostitution. It means make a man invest in you and know your value and your worth so that you can be treated as such. Okay? That's all. That's all you got to do. 
Okay. It's not a competition anymore. The only com the only competition is yourself. At the end of the day, yes, Sharkeisha can steal your man. Fine. But can that man take care of Sharkeisha? Can that man put Sharkeisha in a house? Can that man put Sharkeisha in a new car? Can that man pay Sharkeisha's bills? Probably not. So she can have them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to I'm going to hold out for the man that ain't going to even look at two seconds at Sharkeisha because he she can't represent him. I'm going to hold out for that one, you know? So it's not about quantity. It's about quality. So don't be getting mad at this person who's dating this person and left you and let them have each other. Let them have each other, baby. Let them have struggle love together. So just get those standards up. The only thing a man needs from you is your presence. The very fact that you are in their presence. Thank you, Makari. Um, how do I lose weight? I just I watch what I eat, baby. I don't eat over 1,500 calories a day. I, I, I try not to anyway. Sometimes I, I get to eating those candies or whatever, but I try not to eat over 1,500 calories a day. Thank you, Isabella Terratero. Terra Love your message. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you for the donation. Um, so if you're in a relationship already, just understand how that person values you. And it's not their fault. It is your fault, first and foremost. Always take 100% responsibility for your choices. Once you do that, you can fix them because you start to fix yourself. It's not that dude's fault. It's not somebody's fault you was on sale on a shelf and they're treating you like the 99 cents that you put your price tag as, okay? It's not their fault that you put yourself on sale. It's your fault or the person in charge of value and pricing. That's whose fault it is. It ain't their fault for treating you like 99 cents when you're worth way more than that. So stop blaming them. They took what you gave them at the value that you gave them yourself at. Been taking your advice. And now when I freestyle, even the men there with other women stop to speak to me. Thank you, Imani. Yeah, because you look good, girl. You represent. They want you to represent them. Thank you for the donation. Nat. Thank you, Nat. You are the best. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate it. Yeah. So. Don't look at them. Look at yourself. You are the one that puts the value on you. Okay. Um, thank you. <laughs> so important to speak self-love into your kids. Exactly. The victim mentality is a waste of time. Right. Um, and that's why, you know, sometimes I get a little bit upset when women comment on here about he broke me. He gave me low self-esteem. No, you put yourself at a very low value and he treated you like the value that you put yourself at. And until you take full responsibility of the value that you give yourself, nobody can help you, baby, because your value is too low. Thank you, Aziza Jewelry, for the donation. Hey. So stop blaming other people. It's you, okay? You can't, have you ever seen a stuck up narcissistic um, person who felt like everyone was obligated to please them? Have you ever seen them in somebody's comments or playing the victim saying, oh, he, he broke me and he messed up my self-esteem. He did this, he did that. Have you ever seen someone that you would describe as a narcissistic person do that? And if and if you have, it was for a reason. <laughs> it was for a reason and it was well calculated. But normally it's all an act and it ain't real. 
and then they're getting way they're upping their value by using guilt. Thank you. Soul matters. You're great. You're speaking the truth. So, you know, but you've never seen them really down and out for real to where it affects their self-esteem. They were just either acting to get your energy or you won't see it. OK. So make sure you put your value on yourself. Don't let anybody else place your value on you. You do it yourself. You don't change the price. They can't treat you any type of way. You know, you, you go and buy some expensive clothes. The name brand clothes and you go buy some cheap clothes at Walmart made out the same material, probably made in the same factory in China. But one you paid 20 times more for than the other. You're going to treat that 20 times. It could even be a T-shirt. You're going to treat that T-shirt way better than you're going to treat that Walmart T-shirt probably made out of the same material in the same factory. Why? Because it's value It's placed high. And when you place value on yourself, that's what you become to a man. Okay? It doesn't even matter. That's how you become. That's what. That's how they think of you. That's how you present yourself. That's how you label yourself. That's the store you put yourself in. That's the category you put yourself in. That's the price range you put yourself in. That is the reputation that you give yourself. Okay? They know when they see that. Oh, that's this brand. Oh, that's nice. And you can be wearing the same shirt, a person next to you wearing the same shirt. Oh, they ain't going to say nothing. Thank you, Sia. Thank you for the donation. So place your own value. Mm -hmm. How to not settle too soon after leveling up. Um. Well, I say make sure that that person can do everything you need them to do before you settle down. Everything. And even after you have a couple kids, add some kids into the mix, into the um, the numbers. You know, kids are expensive. Do they have insurance, medical insurance? Can they provide for two and three kids? If you have a small car, can they upgrade your car? You know, are, are you going to be able to stay home from work? Are you going to be working? Probably not. Are they going to be able to pay their bills? Are you going to be able to move into a larger place because you're going to add kids? Can you get a pet? You know, because all those things come later on in life. So if they can take care of that comfortably, can you still go on vacation? Can you still wear your nice clothes? Can you still get your hair, nails, all that makeup? Can you still maintain? Can he maintain all of those things? If the answer is yes and there's no issue, no problem whatsoever, go for it. If not, hold out, baby. Keep going. OK, keep going. Um, my sugar daddy bought me a wig in a color that is not flattering to me. <laughs> Should you wear it anyway? Girl, he might not have known. Men don't know how to pick out a wig, baby. Just if it's real hair. Take it to like a salon that does wigs or whatever and have them dye it. Or put some highlights in it that will help you. Or dye the roots or something, child. Sometimes if you dye those roots, it's not so bad. Down black. Sure, are women who aren't married by 30 viewed as undesirable by men? Um, thank you, Jacqueline Love, for the donation. When, how to tell a man about two kids, 34 level. Whenever he ready to be a stepdaddy, baby. Um... For the first question, um, I say, only you place yourself as undesirable. Do you think Beyonce and J-Lo place themselves as undesirables? Do you think Janet Jackson places herself as undesirable? People will probably break a leg trying to get to one of them. So no. Do you think Rihanna is undesirable? No. You place your own value of undesirability just by thinking that. Thank you, Neon Eyes, for the donation. So don't tell somebody about kids until they're ready to be stepdaddy. Otherwise, you're just going to change their view of you and how they treat you. You look stunning. I've been with my man for four years and lived together six months, but no proposal. I'm 30. He's 32. Shall I get rid of weight loss? Okay, he's 32. A little young. 
especially for men, to get married. Um, six months need at least one or two years. Men don't propose after six months. Okay, unless they're being super pressured. I would rather wait, you know, two years, one year, maybe after one year, since you've been with him four years, maybe after one year of living together, are you cooking and cleaning? Because if you're doing that, he don't need to propose, baby. You already got him a living maid, wife. Stop cooking and cleaning. Please don't cook and clean. If Mm-hmm. Okay, so how to get most out of a guy that doesn't relationship but fun and company? How do I benefit from him? We going on dates soon. Um, that's a whole nother video, but just have fun, you know. Suggest dating places by shopping places. And go shopping afterward. I have I have so many different scenarios. You just got to be creative. Think. Sit down and write down your plans. And think of all the creative ways you can get him to spend money. Okay? Get a piece of paper and a pen. And sit there and start thinking. Use your brain. Let the neurons start working together. Okay? <laughs> People can propose quick. Later in life. Right? So, um... I don't, if a man lived with his parents at 35, I can't do it, baby. Next. Um, I pay for everything, but she fights me to leave the tip. I tell her I got it. Why is she so eager to pay? Midwest, hello. <sighs> she wants to feel like she doesn't owe you anything or that she'll make a good partner, not a good wife, but a good partner. And that if you ever should need help, she will help you. She wants to feel like you don't have total control over her because she can't pay. She's feeling a little bit insecure about you being able to pay for everything. For me, she's just been brainwashed by society. She's She doesn't have her 100% total you know, um, mentality of a feminine woman who will allow a man to feel masculine. She's low-key emasculating you so if you tell her like that you know say you know you're low-key emasculating me when you don't let me pay you are the woman let me take care of you just remind her gently who she is and her power and if she would like you know to keep being treated as such she needs to act as such you know don't put it in those terms just do it nicely Conscious imagination. Hey, beautiful. So I took your advice and moving out of your dusty, musty town. You're moving out of New York State. Any advice on on being the new girl in town? Um, The new girl always gets the most dates. So hang out in the nice areas first. Look up the, the zip code for the most income in that area and go hang out there first. Yes, go freestyle in the rich area first. I'm 32. My husband is 31. We have five kids together. Wow, y'all been busy. I don't work. Any tips on how to keep him like this? Don't ever go get a job then. He'll always have to work. Okay? Don't ever get a job. You'll be good. Just make sure um, you look good. You stay looking good. He'll stay getting that money. Because child care for five kids... It's not even worth working. You will owe money at the end of the day. Thank you, Bethany. I'm 24. I look under 18. How should I, how should my man, how old should my man be? If you're 24, it's time to start looking for a serious man who's ready to settle down, get married, give you everything. So financially stable, I say 45 and up. Why do so many kids, oh, I don't know. You have to ask her. Sure, I want my ex back just to revenge tips. You're wasting your time. Why are you going to, you're wasting your youth and your time, baby. Go get somebody with some money. Forget about your ex. He don't care about you. He's moved on. The best thing and the best revenge you can do is get another man with more money. Okay. Ashley, how to, 
thank you for the donation. How to get my new sugar daddy to take me to China to get stuff from my online store. Um, don't use your sugar daddy to do business. My best thing is just get the money to get you a plane ticket, baby, and go with your friend. Okay, just get the money. Why do you always want to drag men into y'all's business? Get it the money. Take one of your friends and y'all go get all y'all China stuff together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell them it's for something else. I don't even look at guys my age. Yeah, I understand. Where did you become financially literate? In my brain. I live life. Um, I have an older husband who's financially literate. Um, my mom, my sister, you know, most people around me understand these type of things. So it was just very easy to um, know. You know, most people try to teach their children things like this. And if they know it, but if they don't know it, it can't really be taught because they don't know it. So the best thing is to teach yourself or to get around people that understand certain things. Okay. What do you do when your man talks about sex with you too much? He pays for everything, but it's so annoying though. Start talking about money. I always tell y'all, they start talking about sex. You start talking about money if you're already with them. If you're in a relationship, if you're dating and you're secure in your dating relationship, just start talking about money. Okay? That's, that is the ultimate turnoff. Um, if I'm 30, what age? Y'all stop asking me this. Just go 20 to 25 years older. If you really want to do it fast, quick, and get what you want out of the man, you know, most most men are not ready to settle down until a certain age. They're not available to give you what you require unless they are of a certain age. So just add more years, you know, 20 to 25. My suggestion, if you want to go younger, you're going to have to work harder, you know, um, how did your family react when you decided to marry an older man? Um, my mom was not too thrilled about it, but she wasn't marrying him. <laughs> um, she didn't reject him, but she wasn't thrilled at his age. But I told her, I said, I don't have to work. He takes care of me. I have everything I need, want. I'm not stressed out. And I can't date a man my age anyway. They're not mature enough mentally for me. She knows I was very smart, very mature for my age. And there was no way I could ever date anybody my age. I would be like their mother. So she understood that it was a mental thing as well. And I think that's what kind of helped out with it. Because I was beyond my years. And so I couldn't date someone or marry someone my own age. It would have just been a mess. OK, so she she got around it like she got over it, showed up to the wedding, gave a little speech and everything. It um, it was just basically her understanding that her child or her daughter was not going to be able to make it with somebody her own age and not have to struggle and deal with the stuff women have to deal with with men their own age. <laughs> so she thought about it and it made a lot of sense. Okay. How do I get help and money from a man? Be looking good, baby. Get an ugly man and look 10 times better than him. He'll give you whatever you want. I'm sorry. I'm not sleeping with no man for money. You don't have to sleep with men for money, baby. They have to invest a lot of money into you to even get to even talking about that. You know, um, only pick Misha's sleep with men um, quickly. They got to invest in you for a long time to even get to that conversation. Thank you, Ashley. I'm sure he'll give me enough for the ticket to go. I have no friends. I don't have enough money to go shopping, which is why I want to bring him. I like him. He's more of a boyfriend, retired hockey star. Well, um, well, then find something in China that's cool and say you always wanted to visit there. 
ask them to take you on vacation there and then go do your shopping. Tell them, oh, you know what? I need to go shopping while I'm here. <laughs> there you go. When your man pays for every bill, but then becomes insecure. Um, that means you're not giving him enough fake praise. <laughs> you need to brag on him in public. When you go out, you need to be like, oh, he's so wonderful to me. He spoils me. You need to talk him up in public, okay? Then his insecurities may move and melt away. Hi, sure. Do you do your makeup every day? I, sh I try. Like, if I'm at home and don't leave my house on the weekend, I might not do my makeup that day. But every other day, on every weekday, I'm doing my makeup for sure. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Where? Okay. So, mm -hmm. place your value high. Don't be afraid to keep your value high. Okay. Um, People will always try to make you lower your value so that they can afford you. But remember, you place your value. Um, you don't want to discount yourself for people because they can talk smooth. In fact, raise the price higher. They, the smoother they start talking, raise the price higher so they can shut it up and take what they can get before the price rises. You know, so... Um, <laughs> That way, the next time, they won't even try to do anything. They'll just take whatever you request. Like, yes, 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 okay. Okay? <laughs> do the opposite of what they're trying to get you to do. Raise it up. Okay? Well, what do you bring to the table? Excuse me? What do I bring to the what? Oh, you're not my speed. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> You know, just don't even bother. Um, be that woman. Be that woman. Be her. That is who you are in the face of a broke man. Okay? Be that woman. So, um... I'm looking for a woman uh, who, who I can build with. Good luck with that. I hope you find her. Okay? <laughs> well, what do you mean? I, I was hoping you would be her. Oh, I'm so sorry. My nails, I don't build. <laughs> um, But I'm sure you'll find her out there somewhere. <clears throat> Maybe in the drive-thru? Hmm? You know, get get nasty with it because they come with they come in nasty with you. They're trying to lower your value by asking you insulting questions when you look the way you look. If you if you took the time to look good and you have a man has the audacity to come at you like you don't even look good. Oh, no, you got to correct that real quick. You got to remind him who he's talking to. OK, so he doesn't attempt it again with the next woman. He goes where his speed is. Okay. You, you want somebody to build with, baby? Go slide yourself through that drive through I'm sure whoever is working drive through will be happy to build with you, but it ain't going to be me. I'm valet. She drive through Y'all have a good life. You know, don't, don't let them take your value down. In fact, bring your value up. Remind them who you are. Remind them who they are so they can just get out of your face. Because, you know, people will try you. People are always trying to bring down your value because they can't reach it or they can't afford it or they feel like they should have you when they even can't afford it. And the the truth is they shouldn't have you if they can't take care of you. Okay. Um and you're the only fool if you lower your value. They did what they had to do. They bargained. You brought your price down. They got you at a discount price and they will treat you like a discount item. Okay. Don't ever do it. Ever. I don't, they, they can talk to their blue in the face. I'm not listening. I don't hear nothing. Okay. 
What about a man with money, but I don't like but, but cheap ain't ain't a man, okay? If he has money and he's cheap, that means he can't keep money rolling in, okay? That means his money is limited. Next. When you are cheap and you have money, you don't really have money. You have temporary money. Okay? Don't wait for man, period. <laughs> She or cancer men are leeches. Oh my God. I, I told y'all to only date fire and earth signs. If you want that type of man, a masculine, strong provider. And you have a better chance of finding that in those type of signs. Okay. And then don't ask me about these other signs. I just told you. That's all I'm going to tell you. For the other people that's thinking about asking. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. I never be with a man that does makeup. No makeup, BS. Yeah. Those type are dusty anyway. You shouldn't even be around them. Okay. My mom brings up his dead wife. <laughs> okay. This guy's 45 getting promoted soon, but doesn't have car. He says, I don't need it yet. Why are you talking to him, baby? You waste time over there. Um, <laughs> thank you, Vero MK. Don't you think it's tough right now for men to take care of women since there is economic crisis? No, it's not tough. It's a challenge, but I thought men were supposed to be tough too, but thank you for the donation. Um, if a man ain't tough, then who's who's tough? The woman's supposed to be tough. You want a tough woman? Thank you, Tiki G. Should I aim for white men? No, you should aim for whatever puts the most value on you, no matter what that is, who that is. If you are comfortable with it and they value you at the highest level, you deserve that. So it is tough out here. It is hard out here. There is an economic crisis. If you are not smart if you don't know your value if you don't have creative ideas if you can't think outside the box if you only take what people give you if you don't strive harder in life to do better there is an economic crisis but there's some people that don't even work for people so they're not they don't care about the economy because they make their own way you know if a man needs you to help him he's not a man he should be helping himself he's using you he doesn't care about you exactly Thank you, Beauty Smith. Um, there is no economic crisis right now because there's too many rich people. There's too many people getting rich every day. There's too many people starting businesses every day. There's too many people creating stuff every day. There's too many people making money, talking and teaching people how to make money every day. There is always a way to make money. If you give me two words, I can tell you how to make money off of two words. Okay, you're just not being creative. You're just not taking the time to sit down and think about what you can do. You're just not taking the time or the effort to want to better yourself. You don't love yourself. Because if you loved yourself, you would want to represent yourself as the best possible version of yourself, which means doing better than making the excuse that we are in an economic crisis. Okay, because the only people who are in an economic crisis are the people who by the line that we are in an economic crisis. You can see all these women over here. Oh, my sugar daddy doing this. Oh, my sugar daddy doing that. He gave me, I woke up to $600. I went shopping the other day. He just bought me a Mercedes. That don't sound like no economic crisis to me. Okay. So, I don't feel like there's an economic crisis. I feel like that there is a lack of um, creativity crisis. My child's father's 26. I'm 30. He's younger than me, but he pays all my bills. Am I wasting my time? How do I know how to maintain this? Thank you, Tina. Um, it's very hard because he's only 26. You know, 
he did not have a chance to really get his financial status up because y'all had a baby young. And now he probably just has to work or work. He doesn't have time to build a career unless he does have a career. For me, that's what I call the trap. Okay. So for me, let him do what he can do. When things start changing, just understand, you know, have your backup plan, keep yourself leveled up so that when something happens, if he should happen to leave, you can move smoothly to the next phase of your life and possibly get somebody else that can be a full provider in the way that you want. Thank you, no nonsense. I've never dated a man in power, so what to do when I come across that type of man? Be feminine. They don't like masculine women that challenge them. They don't like masculine women that tell them what to do. They don't like women that try to impress them. They want to impress you. Be a feminine woman. Laugh. Let them feel masculine. And just allow yourself to be a woman. Okay? You don't have to sell yourself as far as all your skills and if, how you can cook and all this kind of stuff. That's for the broke people. Okay? You just show up and look your best. That's all you got to do. Okay. Um, anyway, I met a man who gave me money once, but never again. What can I do? He went, he wanted us to do business wedding. What do you think? I mean, if you need the money that bad, um, you know, I'm going for something that I can maintain for a long time and have a nice life with, you know, um, quick money, business wedding. You're going to have to stick with him for a couple of years, baby. Mm hmm. Sugar daddy with weird fetish. What to do? Get another one that don't have a weird fetish and drop that one. If you're not comfortable. Thank you, Tam Renee, for the donation. Um, sometimes when they have weird fetishes, they will try to find women to experiment with, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be with you or marry you. So usually that's not what's going to be long-term anyway. So just let them wait for the next chick while you go find someone that's truly interested in you, you know? Right. You're 30. Should I date 50 and up? Yep. Definitely. Just because someone pays a household bills that they have to pay anyway, even if you weren't there, isn't really a win. Exactly. You need extra. So. <laughs> what? Thank you, Vera. Thank you, Shira, for that reminder. My self-confidence has gone up so big by just changing my looks. No economic crisis. Oh, no eco economic. I'm getting my provider. Yes. Um, thank you, Vero. Yes, get your provider. There is no economic crisis. There's only men who are not able to be men. Okay. Just think about this. Anyone who's poor is in an economic process. Uh, crisis. But most men that have money these days, like especially the ones that came from poverty, they grew up and was raised in an economic crisis, but they made it. They made it to wealth. You know, because they had a vision in mind, they wanted that lifestyle and they didn't stop till they got it. OK, so there is no economic crisis. There's only words and that's it. You know, you take someone from a very poor country and bring them over here and tell them there's an economic crisis, they're going to look at you crazy. You take somebody from this country and put them in another country who is really in an economic crisis, you know, they're going to be like, dang. OK, so just think for two seconds when people tell you these stupid excuses, you correct them and say, like, no, baby. This country over here is in an economic crisis, not this country. 
correct them, help them see that their excuses are not going to help bring down your value. Mm -hmm. Um, if a man has children but never been married, is it a red flag for women? I hope the kids are grown. If he's older, his kids should be grown. Then they won't really be an issue. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Who cares about a sign? Oh, y'all talking again. Um... What would you suggest a woman do with her time while her man is out working to pay the bills and provide? Um, well, she can do whatever she likes. She can um, take a class. She can go to the gym. She can start her own online business or business. She can make herself even more beautiful. She can do crafts and arts. She can go have lunch with her friends. She can go uh, make um, the house look nice by buying, you know, decorative items. She can go shopping for the children. She can do all those things that she would have to do in her spare time if she did have a job, except she'd be tired doing it. Thank you for the donation. Shannon Stevens, I had a nice date two today, but he texted saying his allergies are acting up. He don't know if he can. Girl, he's, he's going out with another woman. You you met him online, did you? Got a better offer. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's what happens when you meet men online. They get better offers. I don't know. If, did you meet him online? Hmm? Um... Thank you. <laughs> Don't meet men online, baby. That's what always happens. They find another better option. Because all they got to do is click or swipe. Then the date that they had with you is now canceled for the younger version of you. Or the stupider version of you. Okay. You met me online. We never met Marcus, but um, you watch me online. That's different. Mm -hmm. But honestly, there's no replacing me. Of course there's not. Mm -hmm. He don't know that, though. In Europe, many men never want to get married should you date them. You know what? Let me tell you guys something in Europe. Because y'all getting on my nerves with these questions that y'all's men don't pay and don't want to get married. That's because y'all give away sex for free. Stop sleeping with these dudes. Stop talking to them unless they paying for everything. I bet you they'll change quick, fast, and in a hurry. Stop being pick me over there. Okay? Be like America woman. <laughs> okay, what would she do? That's how you do. If you change, they'll change. They can't get no dates, no sex. They're going to say, well, what are we doing wrong? What do we have to do? What do we have to do? Oh, we got to pay now? Dang. Oh, we got to get married now? Dang. Y'all just not going to give it us to, up to us anymore? Y'all ain't going to cook it clean and give it up to us anymore? Y'all ain't going to pay half the... Okay. Then I guess we got to do what we got to do. We got to pay and we got to get married. Thank you, Sia, for the donation. So you control it because they want what you have. You're not chasing after them. They're chasing after you. Obviously, you hold the value. So create the value, change your price, up your price, and don't give in. If they don't want to date you, let them go have fun with the next chick. Hopefully, she'll have the same mindset as you. And when they get tired of going chick from chick to chick and not having any luck, they'll just change themselves. That's how it usually works. So, you know, when something stops working, you don't look outside of yourself. You start looking within to see what you can change. And that's how you cre create change in other people, by changing yourself first. Thank you, men in the UK. You're really married. Why? 
because they don't have to marry. Y'all do everything for free. Thank you, Heidi, for the donation. Stop doing stuff for free. Stop dating them if they're not paying. Stop having sex with them. I just told y'all that. Stop giving it up. If all of y'all do that over there, or most of you, or at least the cute ones, <laughs> you will change them. Okay? Everybody look like a bargain, though. Well, they need to stop looking like a bargain. Okay. <laughs> you said go and strike your cookies. I'm I'm saying strike for a good reason, you know. It's not about anything but your own value. How much do you value yourself? Enough to give yourself away free to a man that won't marry you in the future because he don't have any attention to or pay on the date? No, he can go get Misha for that. You keep your standards high, walk by him, let him see what he can't have and keep it moving. Until one of them gets some sense in their head and start doing what they got to do. Then two, then three, then many. OK, y'all are the ones that hold the power. Right. Just just don't even bother. It's like when they start talking to you and you already know they're not going to pay or want me. It's like, you know what? I'm only I'm only um, interested in men that um, knows how to treat a lady. OK. Well, what do you mean? I don't pay for dates, baby. I'm top shelf. I'm high quality. I can't. I can't. Either you come correct or just leave me alone. You got to start correcting them. Be like Naomi, Naomi Campbell. <laughs> okay. I bet you when Naomi Campbell dates in Europe, she don't pay. <laughs> See, they'll pay for the one that they truly want. They're not going to pay for women that are just giving themselves away for free. That's like the same thing. If you saw an item at the Dollar Tree, then you saw it at Target for $7. You ain't buying the one for $7. If you see the same thing at Dollar Tree, you go on to Dollar Tree. But if they stop selling it at Dollar Tree and they only selling it at Target, you're going to pay the $7 if you want that item. Is that correct? Yes. Take yourself out the Dollar Tree and put yourself into a store that has you priced or as your value as you would like it to be. Get yourself out of the Dollar Tree. Put yourself into Target somewhere. Same item, different price. <laughs> You've got me so empowered. Thank you. Thank you, Flora. So, you know, um, and then, you know, that, think about this. If Target is selling one item and getting seven times the value for it and can pay the same price as Dollar Tree is paying for the inventory, who is the supplier going to sell to the cheapest? Target. And who's going to buy more? Target. Why? Because they're making seven times as much money. So think. Don't put yourself cheap. Get your money. <laughs> um, it's messed up. Women have to play these games. It's, that's the game of life. You ever played the game of life? You roll those dice and you have to put your peace. Oh, you get married. Oh, your husband has this career. Oh, no. Now you're poor. You know, every time you roll the dice, something happens to your life. It is the game of life. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Deal or no deal if the price is right. <laughs> right. What in the world? You are, you want to use a chef for free food? Hey, free food. <laughs> Whatever you want to, what? 
Do you think Aisha Curry ruined the game for us? No. Um, I don't think she ruined anything for anybody. I mean, we are, everybody knows, you know, she didn't have a whole, whole face. Okay. We just feel sorry for her over there. Okay. Um, <laughs> how do you deal with dusties? Ignore them. They don't exist. Block, delete. Yep. Yeah. Or ignore. Just pretend like you didn't see the message. Send them a cash app. I don't know. Naomi is like 50 and still has a bunch of options. Exactly. Because she don't lower her value. Mm hmm Russell Brand once said college is a free bordello. <laughs> yep. All those free, free ladies. <laughs> I'm going to keep leveling up if he's flaking. There's so many more out there. I know I will get what I want. Question is who will be the lucky provider or sponsor? Exactly. Stop dating online. Whatever place that you were planning to go to, go there anyway. He might be there with the other chick. You may run into him. Go sit at the nice bar. Go look cute. Have somebody approach you. Go anyway. Take yourself. And then use it as a night to observe freestyle or whatever. You may run into him. His allergies may all of a sudden get better. You know? Um, how to dress sexy and classy without attracting dusties. Okay. So the thing about attracting dusties, okay, everything that attracts a dusty will have to be changed or altered. Okay, there is a checklist of things that attract dusties. Certain hairstyles, certain body types, certain colors, certain hair, I mean, certain makeup looks, certain type of shoes. Avoid all of those things. Certain type of attitude. Thank you, Robin, for the donation. Check all them dusty um, attractors and no longer do them. Okay. If a dusty should not feel comfortable approaching you, they should feel out of place and almost embarrassed. Okay. If you don't present yourself like that, they will come up to you. It's just the honest to goodness truth. Um, it would be like pick Misha walking up to someone who was very wealthy and trying to holler. She would not feel comfortable. She would just look at them strange and scurry to the car. Okay. And then get online and say, Oh, I met such and such a date. I had on my bonnet. Darn it. And she didn't even meet them. She, she just looked and saw and ran, you know, it'd be like that. <laughs> uh, and I, I'm being very extreme just to push the point. I'm extra to push the point home, okay? Because sometimes people don't hear you if you just in the middle. You got to push it home. Like and instead of, and then she just hurries to get, I have to say scurry. So you picture her shuffling, okay? Because I need you to get this picture in your mind. Because <laughs> this is what's going to help you level up faster. Okay. Um... <laughs> Okay. My neighbor is cutting grass, looking at me, crying, laughing. Oh my goodness. <sighs> you work out a lot, so you have to wear braids. Um, sun kissed, hey. I feel like you can work out a lot 
and don't have to wear braids because there are celebrities that work out daily and don't wear braids. They got to keep their body straight for their job to be in a movie and they don't wear braids. So you have to figure it out. Maybe you can figure out some alternative methods of hair care or something like that. Mm -hmm. You have a tiny ring, nose ring stud. It barely knows what do rich men care about piercings. It depends on who they are. And most likely, yes. Okay. When I get hit on by Dusty's, I am like, damn, I just be looking rough. <laughs> yes. There's nothing ratchet about braids. What in the European? Um, frozen rain? Frozen rain? I'm a truck driver and listening to your videos every day is life. Oh, thank you for that nice donation. I appreciate that. I didn't say braids were ratchet. I said braids attract dusties. And I also said that most wealthy men are not attracted to braids. So if you want to change the type of men who approach you, you need to change your look. Okay. So for me, even if the man is not European, he may not be attracted to braids. Why? Because when he wants a woman on his arm to go represent and show off in public, he wants her to look better than every woman in that room, or at least be able to stand next to them and, and look equal or better, okay? So he not wanting, you know, um, his coworkers or his friends or anybody talking behind his back like, oh, you know, um, da, 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 da. He wants to represent just like the next dude wants to represent. And he wants his woman outshining the next man's woman. Sure. Guy I was dating told me he wants equal independent woman who is not a stat who's more established and not looking for a provider. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, uh, NK. K. Well, guess it's time to dump him, right? Right, right. Mm hmm. Drea Mike Michelle wore braids on her vacation. Okay, well, if you look like her, if you have the fame and the money of her, then you really don't need to attract a wealthy man. You know, you'll never see certain people. You, I don't know if she ever wore braids, but you'll never see Naomi Campbell in braids unless it's for a photo shoot, then she took that stuff right off. She didn't even wear braids on her vacation. She, that, her wig was like hanging off by a thread, but hey, she had it on. Thank you to seeing the dream for that very nice donation. I, I appreciate that. Um, So I don't have the argument about braids and stuff like that anymore. For me, I just don't see it. It doesn't happen, you know. Um, it's not something that would be attractive to wealthy men. You will attract the dusty with no issue, no problem. A one night stand, no issue, no problem. The next baby daddy, no issue, no problem. You're not attracted to a 100% provider man that's going to supply every need and want for you and your future children for the rest of your life and don't ask you to work. You might not find that. One love, one heart. Thank God for your teaching us how to set standards. Thank you for the donation. So, you know, I'm not going to argue about those things anymore. Prove me wrong. It's not just prove me wrong, baby. Mm-hmm.
get put your braids in after you get married. Don't have to work anymore. Put put them in then. <laughs> get them after. It's too late, and he got to pay you to leave. You know. Why wouldn't she work? Oh gosh, because her man don't need her to work, baby. That's why she wouldn't work because the man don't need her help. He will actually allow her to be a feminine woman. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Can you imagine a man that would allow a woman to be feminine and not have to work? Oh my goodness. Mm hmm. Right. What if Sugar Daddy wants to pay for an apartment, but he wants to visit? Change the locks. Make him call before he comes. Have a gate. Act like you ain't home. Get a garage. Park your car in the garage. You can't tell if it's in there or not. Um, your daughters are so lucky to have a mom like you. Thank you, Beauty Smith. Thank you for the donation. Um... Wigs always slide back. They give you a headache and tangle up. What? Why? What? Maybe, maybe you gotta get the good kind. You know? Mm -hmm. What if the Dusties are getting more bold when it comes to hitting on women? Do not frequent areas where Dusties can be. You know, or don't even look like they would be comfortable approaching you. Be extra. You know what I'm saying? If you have to be extra to uh, avoid Dusty's approaching you, be extra. Look up. Don't look like that they can even talk to you. But if you're around there, here's the thing. If you live in an area that's full of dusties and you still look good, they're going to think you live there too, which means you're on a level, which means they are going to feel comfortable to talk to you. If you don't hang out in their area, you won't even see them. Okay? So just think like that. You're my sister in my head. Love you. You taught me so much. Thank you, lovely Red. Thank you, Exo Goddess, for that nice donation too. Y'all are so nice. Today, y'all just making it rain all over me. Thank you, LaBliss is me. Shira, I'm happy. He's happy. I tend to feel bad when he puts 110% in work and cooks and cleans, says he's a, he appreciates me. I feel like I need to help with the part. What do I give him? Just sleep with him at night. That's all he needs. Just give him some because that's what he's doing it for. He's doing it for sex. Give him some sex every once in a while. That's all he's doing it for. That's it. He ain't doing it for no other reason. Just... That's all you got. That's all you need to give him. That's all he's doing it for. If you didn't have that, he wouldn't be doing none of it. Just use your brain. If you don't like having sex with him, then uh, just give him a back massage. Hey. Okay. Don't feel guilty. That's that's the trick that people play on the femininity of women. They try to make you feel guilty for being treated as a woman as a feminine woman stop that slap go slap yourself every time you feel guilty go slap yourself and just start expecting 120 percent i don't feel guilty at all my boyfriend's daughter or somebody's daughter who is older than me keeps telling him that i'm using him even though she begs him for money all the time i don't want to sound disrespectful but she's starting to cross the line advice Baby, you got something that she can't give her daddy. Just give that to him extra good, baby. He ain't going to hear nothing she's talking about. Okay? Um, it's the truth. You going to listen to your kids when somebody is making you look good and feel good at the same time? No. You going to listen to yourself. You the parent. Okay? <laughs> um. Women being approached by Dusty's ask for money, they will leave you alone. Exactly. Okay, anyway. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Demonstrate how you'd ask James to go on vacay. 
please, as my husband. Um, thank you, Beauty Smith. Tell Dusty's I'm sorry. I have no spare change. Girl, that's a good one, but you might get cussed out. But that's good. Um, I if I want to go on vacation with James, I'll be like, you know what? I want to go here. He'll be like, where? Da, da, da. This place. I'll have like a picture pulled up online, and I'll show, I'll show James. This will be so fun. Let's go. You know. Um, he'll be like, okay, well, then he'll start telling you his schedule, like. You know, plan it. He'll just say plan it. Here's my credit card. So, you know, I, I feel like <laughs> that's how you got to do it. Like, he know you want to go. If he don't take you, you're going to find a way to go either A, by yourself <laughs> Without him, <laughs> or B, he ain't gonna get none until he take you on a vacation. Thank you, Tiki G. How to level up on a college budget and no call? Um. Well, if you have, if you don't have a car, get a man with a car or a friend with a car, and. Yes, get a man or a friend with a car. Maybe you can do like um, if you have stuff like that you that you buy like clothes or you know nice things or old purses you could sell them like online and get money from that. Um, maybe you can get a part time job on the weekend for your little spare change to buy makeup and stuff with, or you could probably get a sugar daddy online super quick if you was really about it, you know. Jarrett says he's using you too. I think he's happy to have a beautiful goddess in his life. I just feel like a brat when I'm 10 again, not mad at any of those my favorite days, but used. Thank you, LaBliss. Um, here's my thing. Y'all care too dang much about what other people think. And you have been brainwashed too much to feel guilt. And here's my thing. You set your own guilt radar and you have to live with who you are. They don't. If you like it, that's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? If you start feeling guilty and stuff like that, you're regressing. Stop. Stop regressing. Let that man be a man. Stop trying to take away what he's trying to give you. Okay? Goodness gracious, it's like y'all have to like break somebody's arm to allow them to be taken care of. That's crazy to me. Fall back. Drink some chamomile tea. Put your feet up, child. Allow him to take care of you. Stop it. Go slap yourself every time you feel like that. Every time you start to think about what other people think about you, slap yourself. Every time you start to feel guilt about a man treating you like a woman, go slap yourself out of that mental illness. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's a form of brainwashing and you need to get it out of your system. How to know my real value? I'm worried I have overestimated myself because of high self-esteem. <sighs> Depending on your age, your value gets higher the older the man you date. <laughs> The younger the man you date, the lower your value gets. If you look good, your value is always going to be high, but it can get higher or lower depending on the age of man you date. Okay. Mm hmm. Sure. What if my man asks permission to give me stuff? Tell him I give you permission from here on until eternity to give me stuff forever. The answer will always be yes. Okay. Give him permission one time so he don't ever have to ask again. Um. <laughs> My 
current sugar daddy is in the midst of a heated divorce. They always are, aren't they? He's still paying rent, bills, and monthly allowance. I am, am I wrong for a temporary sugar daddy until final divorce? His divorce will probably never be finalized. You are not wrong. I always tell y'all have two and three. Okay. If it is finalized, good for you. If it's not, you still good because you got another one. Okay. Be smart, not dumb. Um, remember, you're single until you're married. Okay. Keep your nails and hair done. Learn how to do your makeup. Dress like Tracy Ellis Ross and be bougie. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> Lovely. Of course. Mm -hmm. Those old men, though, ew. Those young dusties, though, with no job, sitting at the bus stop, ew. No. <laughs> at least that man got a luxury vehicle and a house and money to throw at you and pay bills and go shopping with you know, all Dusty can do is give you a baby he can't afford. That's ill. Okay. And look at you when the check get there. That's ill. Okay. <laughs> like, seriously, like, uh, young men are ill to me. So you, they still smell like Similac. You know. <laughs> I need the smell of Bengay. <laughs> oh, what's that cologne you got on? It smells minty. Oh, hold on. That's a... Let me try to think of a name. That's being gay. I know what that is. <laughs> they try to distract you. So what you want? Where you want to go? What you want for your birthday? <laughs> your eyes be burning. Tearing up. Taj the Great One. Us women have been programmed to give everything without asking for anything in return. Thank you, Shira, for helping us fix it. Ladies, know your worth. You take charge. Y'all, I got to go. I'm about to leave. But <laughs> Tiger Bomb. Thank you, whack ass people. Been years since I felt empowered. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I do got to go. I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>